I met a people. My goodness. Like, I met a people. This one is not I had. I met a people. Turn the television stations and see what? You see, you see the thing. See the thing. Do you know what the television, the television, television technology? That was the reason it came. It's a platform for very, very serious, very serious things, very serious matters. Television technology. That television, God knows about it. That's my the media. There was a reason for it. There was a reason for it. Child. I really thank God. And I'm telling you too. Do not live a wasted life. I'm so impressed by many of you. Regarding the very program we just held. And I know deep inside me. That you did this better than before. And that you have a better understanding of what you are doing now. Which is the main thing I'm talking about here. You did it better in knowledge. You understood it better. Because it's, that's very, very important. So that it will count for you. You see, the journey is still far. And I'm telling you again. These messages are coming. So that you will not give any room to or room for lukewarmness. The nature of what we do, even me, if I should stop teaching, teaching it, is not good for me. That was what God told, the, the very God told Joshua, you see, in Joshua 1 verse 8. He shouldn't stop departing from your mouth, you see. He was to Joshua, not just to the people. You see, not just to the people, he was to Joshua. Joshua was in the similitude of somebody. That was Joshua, meaning also Yeshua. The one that took the people across Jericho and across Jordan. You see, as you have these messages and you meditate in them, that's to you now. And you may see, if you are not evangelizing, it's not exactly that it's so bad for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? The aspect of evangelizing and winning people more. Oh, that one is for, that is the, the that one has what, there's a reward for it. Do you get it? Uh, but I'm, I'm talking about in terms of expressing modernization of life. Yours is like being fed. That is, you are understanding the thing and you are assimilating them. You meditate in this revelation, as you see. So it must, you must follow. That is, the messages as they are coming, you must be listening. Because it comes twice every week. Twice every week. Look at what you heard today. today. Think about Wednesday, what you heard. Think about what you heard on Sunday. As you are coming today, as you are coming to church, you are sure that you hear something new. It is not that way out there. It is not that way out there. I tuned my television st 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 channels. I, I, I just like saw a certain one. What was he talking about? The thing I heard in, let's say, in like a minute or, or two. Let me give you an example of what it, it is like. He said, <sighs> in fact, the advert alone, the advert you will think is, is, so, is something else. It was so good. Are, these people, my goodness. I mean, the advert. And also pointing to a program that they hold, you know. And then after which then they, they, you now see the person who spoke a few minutes. But the one I, I could, I could just, just in waiting a little to hear what he has to say. I don't, it's not, it was not up to even two minutes. I was talking about um, I mean, the thing was surrounding what it has to do. That the thing has to do with faith. That is believing in what God will do. And then God will do it. Then he now, he, he now says, but, this, that the, but what God is now saying that even if you cannot believe him, even if you cannot believe him, like, just like somebody said, like, oh God, help my own belief. You know that kind of thing. And so even if you cannot believe him, he will still do. Even if you cannot believe him, he will still do. There's this place in the Bible that he wrote. 
that Jesus promised could not, could not perform a lot of miracles there because of the people's unbelief is in their Bible. The person, I'm telling what I saw, as in his, his, what I watched, he said to them, he said, even when you don't, you cannot believe him. God is my witness in what I'm saying. Even, even when you cannot believe him, he will still give you. I looked. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people are, they are, they are so disgraceful. They are so disgraceful, honestly speaking. So disgraceful, so shameless. Chai. Is this how? Is it what money mongering can bring people into? Money was really, 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 really degonized here, honestly. Money was really, really degonized here. So you make sure that these messages that are coming out like this will never be to you like a people came out and ate manna and the manna was falling at that time. It was just, you know, coming and, lay, and, and laying for them to come and pick. There was this place in the Bible that said that at a time they, they, they come, take, eat and get up to play, something like that. That it should never come to that that point. That's a very good prayer point for you. You will never come to that point where this revelation, because of the way it comes Sundays, when it comes, to, you know, then it becomes cheapened, cheapened. You know. So don't. So I'm telling you, don't let the revelations that are coming. I'm not talking about myself now. The revelations that are coming. Don't let it come to that point where you begin to cheapen it because it's precious. It is costly. It is more precious than silver and than gold. And gold, for real, it is. I I knew it before 2011. If I did not, I would not be singing this uh, this that song. Ihem jinaka okari goa. It was not today I started I started singing that song. What I have in my hands is I reason I knew. I knew. If I place money higher than that, ah, I see a lot of text messages. I have told you, I see a lot of text messages. Let me leak an one to you. Just this program, just this very program now, this very program. I there are a people they, when they feel I like I don't listen to them, they make offers. I am telling you, I've told you before now. Secretly, I chose not to expose it because the text message is in my phone. I just chose not to expose it, like expose it. Because I mean, it does not come without a number. That's what I mean. It comes with number. You see that? And I don't mean they tell, it's not like they are committing any crime. It's like a discussion if they call once in a while. But the text message, you know, so, so I, I mean, this, this very, imagine this program. I was even thinking that the, that's when you talk about Father Adam, you know, when I speak, like when he's basically on Father Adam, they, I don't see it as what they would like to embrace. So I was a bit surprised in this years old. They, like, like, like it was not that way. They were telling me what you as a church you as a church didn't do that they would have done you see what i'm saying that is not it's not just not just about this that that that, that, that what that, that me what i deserved you see so in that angle should i should, should i get my ipad i mean my phone please no i can show you you see so imagine if I had rated money that way. That's why I'm telling you that. When that is that way, that's how, that's how the system is. Jesus of that moment, imagine at 30, then they told that story of somebody telling him, I, I will give you this. You see? 
let me, let me. That, that's how the system is. When that thing is that good and looks unstoppable, <laughs> like they are even futuristic in their view too. That's how they are. When they try to see if, like, where to hold on to, to come against that thing, and it looks like it's so tough, then they start trying to buy into it. When they also see that buying into it, it didn't work. That means to be a shareholder, you have to put it, you know, because they are into business. And then it's not also working. Then they want to do what? They want to buy it, not just buy into, if possible. That's where, that's where, that's where they are now. You see, this is what you deserve. Father Adam, that we have known today that he is the principal ancestor of the mankind race. How about the person that taught us that? What did the person deserve? Then they, they, they sent me that. Say, this is what we have considered as what to present to you, the prophet that taught us this. Please accept our terms. Did you see? And send the thing in picture. Not in words. The thing in question. As a gift. They sent it in a picture. Format. I don't think. And maybe, maybe, I will, maybe I will show that to Dickie. I just feel like I should show this. Because I've said something like this so much. So you see it, both the phone in question, because it's, a, it's, a, it's, not, it's not a small, that is this, this phone that we open like this. Do you get it? Uh, that is the kind. You know the kind I'm talking about? What's the name? Samsung. Thank you. What? Say the pro. Thank you. you, you is it in my room? Thank you. Did you see? It's there. So, yes, I know I'm, I'm facing the camera. But when I'm saying what is that way, I say it. That's, that's it. So that if, if, perhaps, if they also see that I do tell you that, so they stop. They refuse to stop. Even though they don't call every time. It's once in a while, yes. But you see, this very, this very one, I, I said to myself, you mean, they, you mean you, that these people are giving me the impression that they have embraced the message of Father Adam, being the son of God, being the principal ancestor of the bank race, being somebody that that thing that happened in the, that they wrote in Genesis chapter was actually a price that he paid. So what? Look at how tempting that can be. You see? Look at it on your own. You see? But it is not, it is not, it is not something that I mean, it's not, a, it's not tempting to me. That's what I mean. Okay? No, it's not tempting to me. I know that I should never go that direction. Anybody that needs to hear this message is supposed to come and sit. It's as simple as that. You see? That's it. So, if they feel it's not ethical the way I'm going about it, Then, let it be so. To them, God gave me church ministry. I'm an angel of a church age. You see that? On, on, I mean, normally, when you hear prophet, you're not supposed to feel the same way with when you hear pastor. When you hear prophet, then the name. What do you have him? What, what do you think? When you hear prophet, then the name. You don't hear prophet and just assume he's just one. No, he's just one of them. No, you don't. You don't. When you do, you, can be, you may be wrong. So all of them that felt that way, are realizing that they made a they, they made a very serious mistake. Anybody that had prophet before the name and just assume this one of the same way you have pastor, prophet, doctor, and so on. I was also tested in that. I cannot hear such when I was growing up. When I was growing up and feel that way. I am telling you the truth. God is such a, I mean, how do I put this? That's whatever I expect you to do is something I can do much, much better. 
if I am in your shoes. You see? So, I want to, you know, like, show my gratitude as well, or express my gratitude to many of you. How you went about this year's Father Adam's Day celebration. Okay? And I can tell you boldly that we scored well as a church. This is the time that we give our offerings, our tithes, our first fruits, if you have one to give. The blessings that fly around at this season, when we are doing something that is epochal, something that was spoken about in the Bible, something that has taken many ages of the church that came and passed something that has to do with justice something that has to do with giving honor to whom honor is due something that is fundamental something that is foundational something that has to do with the image of God The blessings that are flying around. The blessings that are upon the Abraham of the mankind race. The blessings that can only come from him. A pass it through him to us. That is my point. Because they are genetic. I pray from the bottom of my heart that these blessings, these blessings, that as we do these things that we do, and you are walking in obedience, you are being obedient, you are following. It takes being obedient to also follow. That means you are being led by someone, and you are following, and following obediently. I pray that these blessings that marks out, these blessings that marks out, these blessings that can, that can elongate even one's lifespan, these blessings that can fetch a lifestyle that is very good for you, a lifestyle that can give you the liberty, the space, the chance to listen, concentrating, meditating these messages and not be preoccupied so much. I mean, be, uh, not be doing so much that a lot is preoccupying at the same time in your mind. The blessings. That proves you to be no longer a people that were bastardized. The blessing that proves you to be no longer a people that were led away from somebody's pasture. The blessings that they there cannot get the blessings that can make a difference between someone who has a lot of money and you when you also have a lot of money or if you have also a lot of money the blessings that can prove the difference
that flies around at this time. I pray that you will never become a destitute of it. Yeah. Hard hearing. Hearing and hearing. Not, not, I mean, notwithstanding. Not doing as much as you are hearing. Those kind of issues. May that never be your portion. You open your palm. Open your palm like this. Thank you, most Holy Spirit. That's what Igbo people calls akaru, akarugo, akarugo, like the lines on your palm. Igbo people calls it akaraka, akaraka. Aka in Igbo language means hand, kind of hand, you know. Why the marks there they call akaraka. But at the same time, it's like it points to somebody's, like what looks like what was divinely, you know, like predestined for the person, something like that. And they have this strong belief. Aside the fact that you know the way life is here, like, 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 like there could be things that we are that are circumstantial, coincidental, accidental, and so on. That there is that one that nothing can really wash away. But then, witchcraft can also manipulate. I'm just defining it the way they they took that to be. That witchcraft can also can also ma- like manipulate it. Even through giving you one gift or the other, that some people can even tap into it, something like that. That is, if it happened to be very beautiful, if it happened to be very nice. I call the one that I'm trying to explain now, Akarugo, not Akaraka, Akarugo. Ugo, in Igbo language, means the ego. And then the ego is not just about that bed being an ego, being the ego, being, being the ego you know. But just like in the Bible too, there were some symbolical kind of definitions that made that, that, um, that bear to appear. So, but then they do say that there, there's this, there, there are these colors that that ego brings out. But that it comes out when that ego has grew, like developed to a certain stage or a certain point, just like a flower. That it gets to the point where the flower starts bringing out colors, something like that, you know. Now, what I'm saying here is this. That there is that akarugo. There is that. Oh. I, I, I call that in Igbo language because I try to look for that English language that will give me what I want to say. You know? There is that thing. That thing that is so good about you. That thing that, that, is, that you, when it comes to competition, you are so good in it. You are so competent when it comes to that. that like, compete, anybody competing with you in that, or you being in the midst of others that are as good as you, does not, you, are, you are not scared. Because you know you are good. Like, it's built in. It's inbuilt in you. Something like that. That is also with, that works with that thing I'm talking about. It is not by, favori, by mere favoritism. Not in that angle. It's also what you are good in. That, that, that showcases something. That is so unique about you. That showcases that thing. That is so unique about you, you know. And this also has to do with genetics. Like you, like what you got from the lineage you came from. This is not now, I'm not referring to the biological. What? The super bio. Akaru Gogi. The, the lines on your palm. That when you came out from the womb of your biological mom, you were, they were there. That you cannot wash out with soap. No matter how you scrub it, it is there. 
There are people they call, that they call palm readers or palmists. That is also to show that there may have been some spiritual aspect of these things I'm touching. I'm touching. I mean, just the way those Igbos, are, like I said, do take that. So my point is that you may not, you may not find that in the Bible, you know, like um, clearly that something like that was, was spoken about. But don't forget I have, that I, there was a time I touched the story of Esau and Jacob and, and, said, and spoke about somebody who said, who saw the stolen birthright. You know, and that what he said to that person was not, like, give, give me your birthright. Have my porridge. Give me your birthright. But that what he said was, rather, or rather was, give me the birthright you stole from me. The blessings that were the reasons for the song. Abraham's blessings are mine. You know, my hands are blessed, my hands are blessed, and so on. The people that sang that song did not even know who the Abraham of the mankind race is. The blessings that I'm referring to came from the God to the person. They are, they are one of the best things that happen to you, to happen to any. Blessed by birth, blessed by the super bio. These blessings is what I'm talking about. To shine forth, to come from the inside, and ref and, and 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 reflect in this kind of a planet, the blessings that can pave way for one, the blessings that can clear the bush for one, the blessings that can t that can that can break ground like groundbreaking that can give one groundbreaking testimonies, the blessings, the blessings that will give you even a status changing testimony the kind of lifestyle that you deserve even in a planet like this the blessing that processes it what i'm talking about is not what happens in one day it's not the kind of thing that happens in one day but it processes it processes it brings you towards that gradually gradually and gradually and by the time it has become something that you can talk about, you scream. You scream. I pray that that blessing, the kind that has no sorrow with it, the kind that has no sorrow attached to it, the blessings that came from the divine, the blessings that not doing this thing that we did, this thing all the while that has been churches in the earth here that could not allow it he couldn't allow it to reflect on the people he couldn't allow it to smile on on the children of the kingdom the pure hominids which position theirs better these blessings i pray that you will never be destitute of, of that you see, as your hands are like this, there is the person whose hands are like this. And that person is up. As your hands are like this, there is the person whose hand is like this. He's a higher priest than me. That person. The way he feels can stop or release the blessing. Because the blessing in question is from him. It's like what runs from the head and then gets to the, you know, the leg or the, toe or the feet or the very feet. Receive these blessings. Yeah. Jesus Christ is preeminence. Thank you, most Holy Spirit. You will never labor in vain. Amen. You will not fall in the battle. Amen. You will not fall by the wayside. Amen. 
you will not suffer defeat out there in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser in a competitive field you will not be the loser these i decree in the matchless name of our supreme lord jesus christ amen Can have your seat. Is your mo bo? Is your mo bon do e bi e bi? Is your mo bo? Is your mo bon do e bi e bi? Angom neru, angom neru ni ko shimiri. Angom neru, angom neru ni ko shimiri. Is your momo bon? Is your momo bon? Do e bi e bi. Is your momo bon? Is your momo bon? Do e bi e bi. Wow. You see, this is how it was said that it will happen. Like play. Like play. The person as well, how his countenance will be. How what people will come and see will be at a time. All of that were written. Count yourself so blessed the testimony is not an easily achievable kind but we will make it the testimony was the reason for words like and they overcame him you see and they overcame it was a that you prevailed and they overcame him by the original dna of the son of god original they wrote it as by the blood of the lamb your principal ancestor is not a lamb say this with me my principal ancestor is not a lamb my God is not a sheep. The son of my God is not a sheep. The son of God is not a lamb. The son of God is not the lamb of God. Therefore, I am not a prey. Like begets like. Can never be preyed upon. I can never be preyed upon. You are unstoppable. Yeah. I'm telling you. You are unstoppable. Yeah. Your voice will never cease. Yeah. Your eyes will never go short. Yeah. Your tongue will never cleave to your jaw. Yeah. Your teeth will never decay. Your body will never decay. The system is fighting you, but you will prevail. The system is fighting you, but you will prevail. Jesus Christ is preeminent.
Thank you, most Holy Spirit. All right. Before we say the prayers that we do say when we are about rounding up, like I've always said, if you have any complaint or comment on the clarity of our broadcasts or transmission, audio and video wise, especially from all of you outside Nigeria, or even in Nigeria as well. But I mean especially all of you outside Nigeria. Please email to askprophetobina at gmail.com. Dot com, not dot org, dot com. And if you have not redeemed your pledge, having reasons for not having redeemed it. I just want to let you know that you should try to see that you redeem your pledge. What we do, so there's, there's a reverence to it personally too. Me too. And that's why I've always tried to tell you, you know, that you, you go about it looking at what you have that you can give so that we do it the way it should be done. We should just we should just do things right, you know. We should do it that way. We should do it, you know. I am, the future is is bright. We have broken through. Yes. The what call for the travel? The travel. A lot to explain that looks like what is this person talking about has finally been explained the child that was in the womb that was called causing the travel has come out <laughs> do you understand you will never lack behind we will say the prayers for transfiguration consecration and the grace then we we'll round up Are you ready? Yes. All right. O temple most holy. O temple, o temple divine. O temple. Is thy body, O God. Indestructible, immortal body. Tangible yet invincible. Incorruptible in nature and holiness. Fearful and overwhelming in glory. Indescribable in size. Most precious in substance and beauty. Neither made nor begotten. I stand in awe and humble admiration of thee. Please make our body, our physical body, our mortal body to become or migrate or conform to the perfect prototype of thine. Expressly, in the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Prayer for consecration. My head is the temple of divine wisdom. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. The word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, is in my heart and in my mouth. The shield of the word of God is in my hand. My heart bears the soul and possesses the mind of Christ. I belong to the prophetic presbytery. The grace in fellowship. The grace of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Most Holy Spirit remain with us now and forevermore. Surely, immortality plus incorruptibility follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Until I see you again, or you watch me on your screen again, continue to swim or bask in euphoria of positive metamorphosis. And don't forget that this 
is priesthood without emeritus, without retirement, without resignation, without a successor. This is what the race is. It's all about your body metamorphosis, positive metamorphosis. It's all about your transfiguration alive, expressly. That's what the race is all about. who gives me the revelations I share with you never called Father Adam dust because he is not dust you cannot make any physical body that spirit being will go into with what is not a genetic material dust is not a genetic material in that city that you are in that country that you are anywhere in the earth pure hominid there is something that you don't have to forget it is the age of the church that transfigured our life. You don't have to die in the liver.